Gary Neville hints at Manchester United decision on Old Trafford's future. Former Man United captain Gary Neville has been appointed onto Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Old Trafford Redevelopment Task Force as INEOS Eye Improvements to the Old Trafford area. Former Manchester United captain Gary Neville has hinted that he would potentially favor building a new stadium in the vicinity of the current Old Trafford. Neville was recently appointed to a task force chaired by Lord Seb Coe, which aims to identify the best action to take regarding the future of Old Trafford. It has become no secret among match-going supporters that the Theater of Dreams is in desperate need of redevelopment. Following the defeat to Arsenal last month, Old Trafford's roof buckled under a heavy rainstorm, which led to severe leaks in the roof which spilled into the stands and even the away dressing room. This incident came while Neville was in attendance, as well as Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Labour Party leader Sir Keir Starmer, who met with the INEOS founder to discuss the regeneration project. Appearing on the club's official United podcast, Neville claimed he would not oppose an entirely new stadium being built. I'm not one of those that says that because I've watched football out there for 45 years that I need to watch the exact same players on that exact blade of grass, he said. You know, if you think of the development, that is not the stadium that's been there 110 years. You know, the Stretford End is not the Stretford End that I saw growing up. The stands all around the ground have been redeveloped in the last 30, 40 years. I'm not one of those people who says we can't develop behind while we still play here and then move into a new stadium. On the other hand, if the best solution is to refurbish the current stadium and do what Real Madrid and Barcelona have done, which is essentially wrap their stadium and sort of, if you like, fit it from the inside out, then if that is the best solution, then I'm not against it. When asked why he chose to join the task force, Neville added that he felt a duty to contribute to United's future. I think it's the one thing that actually I can contribute to, he concluded. I don't think that there is a role for me at the club in any other department. I think that I'm happy there is action on the other side of the club. I think that's really important. There's been inaction, I feel, for 10 years, and I think now that we've got a sort of interference within the ownership that there is at least action. There have been sweeping changes made in the last few months, and now we have to be patient and see what happens in the next two or three years. What I am absolutely certain of is that we need to have a stadium that is up there with some of the other great stadiums in Europe and in this country at this moment in time, Tottenham is the benchmark. It's a stunning stadium, brand new, and we need to get to that level. United is a club that has to be inspired and motivated by its history, but be a modern club that moves forward and that means from a people perspective and it means from a place perspective. Gary Neville's appointment onto Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Old Trafford Redevelopment Task Force has sparked speculation about potential changes to Manchester United's iconic stadium and its surrounding area. As a former Manchester United captain and a prominent figure in football punditry, Neville's involvement in the project carries significant weight and raises intriguing questions about the club's future plans. The task force's association with INEOS, a multinational conglomerate chaired by Ratcliffe, suggests a concerted effort to explore improvements to the Old Trafford area. While specific details about the proposed redevelopment remain scarce, Neville's inclusion hints at a collaborative approach that could see the club's heritage preserved while modernizing facilities to meet contemporary standards. For Manchester United fans, the prospect of potential changes to Old Trafford evokes a mix of excitement and apprehension. On one hand, improvements to the stadium and its surrounding infrastructure could enhance the match day experience for supporters and ensure the club remains competitive both on and off the pitch. On the other hand, there may be concerns about preserving the historical significance and unique atmosphere of one of football's most iconic venues. As Neville and the task force delve into the intricacies of the redevelopment project, they are likely to face complex challenges and considerations. Balancing the demands of modern football with the need to honor tradition and heritage will be paramount, requiring careful planning, consultation, and collaboration with stakeholders. 
Ultimately, the outcome of the Old Trafford redevelopment project could shape the future trajectory of Manchester United for years to come. Rasmus Hodgland could be among five Manchester United 2024-T25 shirt number changes. Manchester United have finished the 2023-24 campaign, and so the full focus is now on preparing for next season. United supporters will be fixated on the upcoming transfer window to assess the impact of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos team. Another aspect that fans are always keen to keep an eye out for is the possible shirt number changes within a squad. Manchester United have finished the 2023-24 campaign, and so the full focus is now on preparing for next season. United supporters will be fixated on the upcoming transfer window to assess the impact of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos team. Another aspect that fans are always keen to keep an eye out for is the possible shirt number changes within a squad. Often young players are awarded new shirt numbers to recognize their growing status within the squad, while sometimes a departing player leaves a number open for another to snap it up. Ahead of those decisions, Ut District has detailed five of the more likely shirt number changes that could happen at Old Trafford next season. As Manchester United geared up for the 2024-25 season, anticipation was rife among fans as they eagerly awaited news of potential changes to the squad's shirt numbers. Among the players rumored to be in line for a switch was Rasmus Hoylund, a rising star whose performances had caught the eye of fans and pundits alike. Hoylund, known for his versatility and tenacity on the pitch, had quickly established himself as a key figure in the United squad since his arrival. With his stock on the rise, speculation mounted that he could be in line for a change in shirt number, reflecting his growing importance to the team and signaling a new chapter in his burgeoning career. The Danish midfielder's potential switch was just one of several changes being considered by the club ahead of the new season. As the coaching staff and management deliberated over the best way to structure the squad, discussions surrounding shirt numbers took on added significance, with each change symbolizing a fresh start and a renewed sense of purpose for the players involved. For Hodglund, the prospect of a new shirt number represented more than just a change in digits. It was a reflection of his continued growth and development as a player and a recognition of his contributions to the team. With the weight of expectation on his shoulders, he embraced the challenge with characteristic determination, eager to make his mark on the pitch and repay the faith shown in him by the club and its supporters. As the summer unfolded and preparations for the new season kicked into high gear, United fans eagerly awaited news of the squad's finalized shirt numbers, eager to see which players would be donning which jerseys when the new campaign kicked off. With Hodgloon's potential switch among the most hotly debated topics among supporters, the stage was set for a season filled with excitement, drama, and plenty of surprises on the hallowed turf of Old Trafford. As the anticipation built, Manchester United's management carefully weighed their options, considering the impact of each potential change in shirt numbers. Rasmus Hoylund, with his exceptional performances and growing influence on the team, stood at the center of these discussions. In the heart of the bustling United training ground, Hoyland focused intently on his preparations for the upcoming season. The buzz surrounding his potential switch in shirt number didn't distract him. Instead, it fueled his determination to excel even further on the pitch. With each training session, he pushed himself to new heights, honing his skills and sharpening his tactical acumen under the watchful eyes of the coaching staff. Meanwhile, speculation ran rampant among fans and pundits alike, with everyone eager to weigh in on the possible changes to the squad's iconic jerseys. Social media platforms buzzed with debates and predictions as supporters eagerly awaited the official announcement from the club. In the midst of this whirlwind of excitement, Hodgland remained focused on his game, channeling his energy into his training regimen and maintaining a laser-sharp focus on the task at hand. Whether it was practicing his pinpoint passes or perfecting his defensive positioning, he spared no effort in his quest for improvement. Finally, the moment arrived. 
With the start of the new season looming on the horizon, Manchester United unveiled their squad's new shirt numbers, sending waves of excitement rippling through the fan base. Among the announcements, one stood out, Rasmus Hoylund, adorned with a fresh number, symbolizing a new chapter in his remarkable journey with the club. As the news spread, cheers erupted from the stands of Old Trafford, echoing the collective excitement and anticipation for the season ahead.